this is ICP6 uh, to develop a ionic project so first uh, to develop a ionic project the steps are like first you have to create ionic project the command is ionic start you have to give some project name and the type of project you want for example blank tabs etc and after uh, creation of the project to test your uh, app you have to the command the command you have to type is like ionic sir which will deploy on the browser with localhost 8100 port okay uh, after creation of project just open in visual studio code or brackets so uh, this is the folder structure of my login app okay so let's go to the source folder this is the main folder where the code is written for the ui and the backend so first thing let's go to pages okay let's go to the app here the main module is this one app module.cs where all the pages uh, which you have written uh, have to be imported here and the entry point checks will be uh, written here so if you see home page login page and register page whenever you add a page uh, they have to be imported here and they have to be added in the declarations and the entry points okay uh, now let's go to the home page uh, where you will see the username and password uh, for login in so this is home.html uh, here you can see username and the password and i am giving some ng model name so as to get the value which is uh, typed in that field okay here uh, uh, the click action is bit different from, uh, compared to angular.js here we will be using typescript okay you can see here we have three files one is html file scss file and ts file ts file is a typescript where you can write the backend logic for validation and etc and the html where you can write the ui components what you want to develop so here we have two buttons sign in and register for signing in yeah, you will be going to the uh, login page and for the register you will be going where where you can register your uh, register with your credentials okay uh, the backend logic will be written in ts file so let's go to the ts file okay uh, this where you are seeing this nav controller this is the main controller which uh, which is responsible for navigating from one form to another form i mean another one page to another page so for uh, register uh, first thing uh, to generate a new page the command is ionic generate page and the page name so after creating it you have to add in the app modules and when you are navigating you have to import that page here then only it will be recognized and you can use what i mean wherever you want so for navigating you have to use this nav control uh, dot push uh, where you will be navigating to the register page so let's see what is this uh, home page okay this is the home page where you have two fields username and password sign in and register button okay let's go to the code so this is the code uh, so uh, in the register this is register.html where the ui components will be there where you will see the first name last name username password and this ng model as you know that with the help of that variable will be getting the values from the html to the typescript and we have a click action called sign up where uh, let's go to the ts file okay this is the ts file where uh sorry uh this is a ts file where i am checking whether all fields are not null or not and if it is not null uh i will check the password and the confirm password it should be same the validation is done and after that i will be storing uh, username and password in the local storage so so as to do validate when you are logging in so let's go to the ui so register hurry t username harish data password one two three four let's type wrong i mean number of characters it will show you an alert so password doesn't match so let's type four okay one two three four so sign up is done okay so now uh, your credentials are stored in local storage now if you go to the uh, back to this login page
now registration is successfully done now we have to sign in uh, with uh, with the credentials which you have been registered so here if you see uh, uh, this command is used for navigating to the login page so okay uh, here i am validating the password which you have given means i will be fetching the password uh, from the local storage and i will be validating with the field i mean the password which you entered in the login page field okay let's go to the ui so this is the ui part so let's try harish harish data and one two three four okay let's sign in oh we got in on a home page and we have a functionality called sign out uh, which goes back to the login page again uh, sign out as you can see we are back to the login page uh, so all this uh, the sign out functionality is done in this login.ts file where you will be navigating to the login page yeah that's it thank you